Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready to do your love reading here for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So as you know, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Click the link and you can purchase a 30 minute or one hour phone call reading for me. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I would appreciate that. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at the past energy with the person that you may be connecting with. Present. Hmm. Man, Virgos, there's that emperor. The future. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. Aries. Pisces. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio thus far, okay? For those of you who need to know. All right, let's take a look and see what the love messages are. Past energy here are toxic, toxic. You were married or in a committed relationship trying to make things work. Um, there was toxicity, maybe addictions. Somebody was indulging a lot, okay? Um, could have been a commitment, some type of committed or relationship, okay, where you were both working on something together, okay, trying to make the effort, your person, staying optimistic about the relationship, but there was like you guys were just bound together. There was a lot of indulgence, and it's not necessarily bad. It's like I do feel like you guys really enjoyed your time and your company, uh, each other's company and and there was an element here of like really be, being able to make something work um, like you guys um, sorry <laughs> you guys had um, you indulged one another that's for sure but you guys also found a way to communicate with one another where you both understood like um, you had similar topics and similar special interests that you both came together on very well I feel um, and, and, but I mostly feel that's how your person felt like your person in the past, like obsessed, a bit obsessed with you. <laughs> okay. Um, like they felt chained and even though they may have looked elsewhere or they were keeping their eyes open and checking others quote unquote out, um, they were still bound to you. Okay. No matter what. And I'm sure that for some of you that wasn't going to fly and for others you were like oh you can look just don't touch you know so it really just depends i feel like your person's intentions were really good to try to come into teamwork maybe you guys work together okay um maybe nothing happened between the two of you and you just worked together but there was like this <gasps> you know at least so you your person sorry virgo Maybe they, you're, for some of you, your person worked with you. I, I know I say maybe, I don't mean to keep saying maybe. For some of you, you work together. And this person, they might have been attached to somebody else, but they also had like a really strong thing for you. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this devil energy and see what's going on here. Okay. Three of wands. Yeah, they were, they actually were envisioning a future with you. Absolutely. I don't know if this was your, they worked under you. Maybe they, like you were, maybe you had a company or you were partners with someone in a business and this person, like you hired them or they came to work with you. They would sit on the job and just daydream about you. They were lusting after you, Virgo. <laughs> uh, could have been at your work. You maybe didn't hire them, but maybe like you guys were. They were waiting for you to, they were also waiting you, for you to get free from something or someone. Okay. Five of swords here. Wow. Like a lot of, con like conflict uh, work, you know, a lot of uncertainty. I feel like your person didn't really do anything 
they just were just constantly like sitting in a position of this nine of cups energy when it came to you. Uh, you're like a you're like a wish come true, you know. This person that's indulgence, you know. Look at him. I mean, he doesn't. He just sits off the fat of the land and just enjoys and just kind of passive. You know, it's like someone who's so rich that they don't have to go to work. They just sit around and and don't do anything. That I don't know. I, that was their emotions. That's how they felt. Like just indulged in you, like. They weren't chasing after you, um, but any effort that they made towards you in the past, whoever this person is, their intentions were, you know, to tr like try to have something, like to make plans or try to expand something with you. Look at that. See the Knight of Cups. They dreamt about proposing. They dreamt about making your connection romantic or more romantic for some of you this could this may not you might not even know about this <laughs> i'm just hearing for some of you you might have sensed that there was somebody in your life in the past who was uh, quite obsessed with you you know uh, maybe you're at a distance to one another you might have been just communicating it was either at work or through school or some kind of study or something and, uh, but it was, there was a lot of conflict there, or there could have been potential for, um, well, potential for a lot of change, but, um, too much uncertainty. It was too, too new or it was too, uh, it had somebody had to be safe. Okay. So any effort that they made towards you, it was because they were, they just kept hoping they just kept dreaming. They, I do feel like this person felt like they would make you very happy if they proposed or made some kind of offer, romantic gesture towards you. Um, and they may have. They may have. Uh, but it might have been fleeting is what I hear. Okay? It might have been fleeting. Some of you might not have even picked up on it. Others, you might have picked up on it, but you might may have been connected to somebody else virgo who you were interested in this feels very secret admirer ish <laughs> it really does i don't really feel like virgo this is really like a past relationship or someone that you're missing or something like that this feels like somebody else <laughs> It feels like someone else. Oh my goodness. Are you even aware who this might have been? Okay, because this is the way the reading's going. I, I feel like in the present, <laughs> they want so much to be able to change your life or change your situation or change theirs. Maybe they're connected to somebody else. Maybe you both are. But this person wants so much to have change and progress. Attraction, love yourself first. This person is attracted very much, Virgo, to how you are very self-respecting and how you um, just enjoy your life. And, and like they're very attracted to the way that you are. But I also get a sense they're very hesitant with you either to reveal themselves to you no matter what because of a fear of like apathy or rejection or you know uh, they wouldn't get what they treat like if they put their heart out there here with that ace of cups there if they they put that out there like they want to surprise you with they want to give you a gift but if they do this here they're they're kind of like oh my gosh what a virgo is not interested you know so they're they have these walls or boundaries up a little bit but they very much want progress and change like they want to have a turning point with you virgo i don't know if you know who this is but either the either you know this person and it's like, like it's somebody else not connected to your true love or 
this is somebody that you is like in your surroundings environment that is crazy about you <laughs> all right let's get some clarifying cards okay queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces five of cups regret and remorse and the ten of swords yep see this person okay for some of you this could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces if it but it's somebody new okay so if you're already dealing with a water sign this is another water sign okay um i feel like they've been they wait for you they wait for you to come to work they wait for you to come into class they wait for you to show up in the zoom call they wait for you to <laughs> come up to work you know wherever and um, they're just so very fo they were so focused on you and right now it just kind of feels like they want to have some kind of change and come towards you but they're they're hesitant because they feel like it might destroy everything or um, it might make things worse yeah there's just this hesitancy and they put up these walls right because they don't want to they don't want to have any betrayal they there's has if there was somebody else they're avoiding betraying that person they don't want you to betray your person they don't want to ha have it happen between the two of you they don't want things to come crashing down and burning they have um a sense of like okay if things move forward you know there's going to be grief because somebody's gonna to have to let go of another person as well <coughs> um you know change always brings uncertainty and change always brings a sense of having to readapt to something even if it's positive you know i mean people think oh okay well you know if i hit the jackpot lottery that's going to be positive change yes but look at how much your life is going to change with that you know there's a lot of readjustment for this person they look at you and they see like you're the you're like a jackpot lottery to them you know and but the five of cups also brings a sense of loss when there's change okay um and they know that if they're gonna try to have a get something rolling and started with you there's a lot of things they're gonna have to let go of as well all right so going forward into the near future wow so we have the emperor um this could be an Aries that release your ex and deception. I feel like your person or well, this person is ending a relationship with their with an ex or somebody that they have been attached to. Okay. There might have been a lot of like deceit or cheating or something. Um, or even if it wasn't that, there was just this energy of um not fulfilling. Uh somebody wasn't being authentic their person i guess wasn't being authentic in the relationship um or somebody i don't know who they were attached to but what i see here in the future is um this person taking a stand with you and making this offer to you and taking a risk because i feel like with this um this moon card this is this is definitely like walking through walking it with intuition like it's a scary shadowy dark place and they don't know what's going to come out of it but this person is letting go of a past relationship and it's not because of you it's because of they're just done with that i mean if they were happy in it they wouldn't be having this thing or these feelings for you so this for some of you this could be somebody you you have known you've been connected with but they're 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 like letting go and and taking a stand here with this emperor energy look here's the moon again yeah they have no idea what you're gonna do or if you're going to accept anything or accept them or anything they have to offer to you okay queen of wands aries leo sagittarius okay they might be a bit intimidated by you um they might be trying to also spend time to get to know you to see what you like so they know what would be the right thing to offer you <laughs> it's a little calculating but the emperor he's a strategist you know what i mean so Oh, and then the king of wands oh my goodness all this definitely aries energy playing out here for those of you connected with an aries but it could be leo or sagittarius as well um either way it doesn't matter the sign but look at this like 
this person has no idea. They know who they are, but they have no idea how to come towards you. They really want to let go. They're letting go of an ex or whatever, someone, the energy, whatever was there. I'm just hearing whatever they need to do to be a part of you and be a part of your life, they'll do it. If they have to go from being an emperor to a king, because you're sitting here as a queen, or if they have to go from an emperor, you know, they have to step down a notch in rank to be at your level, they'll do that. <laughs> they'll do that. They have no idea what to expect. It's very bizarre. It's a very bizarre thing. I feel like you've got, like, even if this is somebody that you've been with in the past and they couldn't really follow through or be with you, it feels to me like um, maybe it's been long over. You just put it out of your mind. This person is still harboring deep feelings and emotions. And, you know, it's either or. I just want to take a look at this moon. Yeah, see, they've been kind of holding back on their emotions. Yeah, but they've been harboring and they'll be holding back for a while, right? I don't really feel like your person is going to come gushing out with their emotions, but I do feel like they want to try to make things turn around and they're going to take that leap of faith because they have no idea what to expect. They, they, it, it's just that I feel like They've been dreaming of you and they want to make your wishes come true. And whatever it is that you wanted, that Knight of Cups, they just fantasize, indulge in thoughts. They've been thinking about how to like make this make some kind of love offer. They they actually it's almost like a um like a soap opera that plays in their mind, you know, like a love story, these movie scenes they think of what it would be like or how it would go. They, they think along the lines of like, if Virgo says yes, you know, you know, like people, <laughs> I don't know that, I mean, if it's a guy, I mean, oh, how he's sweet is he? I don't know if guys do that. I mean, if you're a male here, leave a comment below if you ever do things like that. I know some women do, you know. Uh, let's see, I feel you leaving me behind. Obsession, someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. And it's like the more you walk away, Virgo, or the more you're just, I don't care if this is a secret admirer, Virgo, and you're just like, all right, all right, George, I'll catch you at work tomorrow. Like as soon as you walk out the door, they feel you going, and then they become more obsessed. Like they keep thinking about you. This person, if this is not your lover, and this is like a colleague or someone or a school thing, the drive the main driving force that gets this person to work every day or to wherever you guys see each other or connect is because of you like they want to see you <laughs> timing just wasn't right okay oh they're coming they don't know how to let you go okay this could be an ex um i feel like this person is no doubt obsessed Obsessed and dreaming about you. Virgo, what have you done? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Oh my goodness. I don't know who that's a message for, but you came closer than anyone, Virgo. You're it. So many things remind me of you. Virgo, you are it for this person. And you were it for them yesterday too, and the day before that, and the day after that. Everything happens for a reason. Acceptance, financial challenges. So it could be a work thing, or or you know, financial thing connected. Maybe you guys work in a bank, or something with loans or money or something. Okay, new love or re recommitment to love is developing. So that. That's whoever that's specifically for. This very well could be a new love, a secret admirer turning into a new love. But it could also be a recommitment with your person from the past who just can't stop thinking of you or it's just really hard to let you go. They hid who they were. See, I told you, secret admirer, okay, for a lot of you. 
that's what this is you it could and you could guys you know what it could go both it could be both it could be your past person and it could be somebody else at the same time oh my goodness let's get some charms all right virgo okay what do we have oh my goodness virgo okay we have a bat oh gosh i just heard wuhan <laughs> Right? I know we don't want to be talking about that, but we have a bat. Maybe it's a bat signal or a Batman. Somebody likes Batman. We also have a dragon. Okay. Uh, dragon Ball Z. I don't know. Dragon. Something here with a dragon. Somebody's connected to a dragon. Somebody here is born in the year of the dragon. It could be. Let's see. Year of the dragon would be... 1976 or 1964 or um, 1988, okay? And just take 12 years away from your person or the year of, take 12 away from 60, 64 or add 12. That's the year of the dragon, right? So then we've got a skull and crossbones. That's the devil energy. Look, and you know what? Oh my goodness, I just saw this. Look at that. See his wings? Same as the bat. Obsession. Somebody plays baseball. Or maybe he's a baseball player. Okay. What the heck is this thing? You guys, I don't even know what this is. It looks like a... Oh. It's a Christmas tree with a star on top. I thought it was a pineapple. It's a Christmas tree with a star on top. What a bizarre thing. Christmas is a very important holiday for somebody here. Maybe somebody's birthday is around that time. We did have Capricorn. That skull and crossbones, though... Somebody, somebody just made that emoji in a text or sends that or, um, you know, this toxic song from Britney, you know, it's like poison. <laughs> this could be a forbidden secret admirer, forbidden love. It's, it's real spicy, you know, like and it did say soap opera. So it could be like a soap opera thing kind of going on there. You know, like it's, you know, when you watch a soap opera, it's so like, sometimes could get really crazy and wild and that forbidden yeah it's like that <laughs> it's a very sexy read that's for sure you just some of you as well i don't know you're just very attractive right now virgo and you're totally loving yourself first and putting yourself first and just doing you and it's like swarms of attraction you know the past and for some someone present a secret admirer someone that you may come to find out about going forward but you're just gonna have to let us know i'll leave the comments open and you can let us know what's going on with that i'm gonna leave the reading here <laughs> all right virgo i'll see you guys tomorrow have a great night bye